Hello, M. Night. How are you today? I'm good. I love all those dolls you have behind you. There is a split one somewhere back mm. here as well. I, I had to get that when that came out. Love them so much. Also, congratulations on your season three renewal today. I saw your tweet this morning. Thank you so much. Yeah, everybody's so excited. Cast and crew, it's just, uh, you know, so great to be supported like that. Part of your 40 part plan that you have ready. I cannot <laughs> wait to see. Yeah. Now, I, I think it's interesting that you are known for your amazing work on films, but in television, you're getting to stretch your wings a little bit more. How do you enjoy working on something with Tony like this on TV? Do you think it plays to your strength as a long-term storyteller, if you will? Oh my gosh, I have such so many answers to that question because it has been so uh, wonderful for so many reasons I didn't expect or I, I, I couldn't have anticipated. Um, and it has directly affected my movies, both in being able to work with crew members that I wouldn't normally have gotten a chance to work with, who now I'm working with on my movies, to work with um, other writers and other directors, you know, working in a writer's room, working with, with directors each episode from around the world, I've, you know, to grab someone from this country and say, can you come direct? And then they, I learned from them and we, we get to talk about cinema and all. This has been a big thing for me and has uh, revitalized me, I think, in, in terms of always being a student. And, and uh, uh, I didn't expect this much of that to happen, how much, how much it's affected me. And it really affected my new movie. Oh, I'm glad to hear that there's a new movie coming. I am always a big fan. So uh, you know, speaking of your films and this, you love to twist around with tone and genre. What attracts you to this genre bending style? Because Servant can make me laugh and cry within the same scene sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've been, I think I've always had that instinct for dark comedy. Uh, and I guess for a long time, I think I was, scared to do it because it wasn't seen all that much in in contemporary cinema let's say and i remember i had a a really dark comedy moment in unbreakable that i cut out and and i was always like god i i want i wish i had been courageous enough to keep that and keep that tone and then i this whole kind of david lynchian kind of weird funny I, I love it, and uh, I, I, I've just kind of decided to just fully embrace it in my <laughs> movies and in the TV show. Um, it, you, you know, oh, that's so wrong. Put it in. You know, that's my feeling. <laughs> I, I love the moments where you're laughing at something. You're like, should I be laughing at this? Exactly. And you, you capture that perfectly. So I wanted to end this with a more fun kind of question, a would you rather servant edition. Would you okay. rather carry around the Jericho doll for a week or have the Leanne character live with you for a week with all her weirdness as well? Oh, uh, well, that was easy because, you know, I'm, I feel so connected to Leanne, you know, so I, I see uh, the struggle of her and, and all that stuff. So definitely Leanne, definitely Leanne. <laughs> you don't, you're like, I'm good with that creepy doll in my life even more. <laughs> I love that doll, but yes, yes. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. I'm it was a pleasure. really excited to see what you have next. Uh, there's always something more and more servant as well. Thank you again. Thank you, EJ. Take care.